Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, August 12, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Mark chapter 8, reading from verse 34 to 38. And it says, And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel's, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me, and of my words, in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Amen. We thank God this morning for this is word, and this is a very important reminder this morning. And I hope as we consider the words of the Lord that we will allow them to resonate with us and may it draw us closer to him. Now here Jesus was speaking to the people and his disciples and this was after he spoke to them about what was about to happen to him and the fact that he was going to be killed and that he after being killed would be risen after the three days right and it was in that same time period that he also rebuked Peter after Peter got upset about what he was saying and so Jesus went on to now explaining that whosoever is following him they have to employ the principle of denying self they have to take up their cross and follow him so what does it mean to take up our cross and follow jesus what is jesus really saying to us here let's go back to jesus life and all the things that jesus had to endure now when we examine how cruel they treated him how difficult his life here on earth was in the sense that he was not welcome and especially by those who claim to be his meaning the leaders of the church the jews all of them they rejected jesus and so he had a very difficult life and so here jesus is basically saying that if we are following him then it therefore means that our life is going to be similar to his our experiences are going to be similar to his and he said in his words also that what if they hate him or if they hated him we can't expect that the world is going to love us so when we are faced with different you know situation when we are attacked in different ways when we are persecuted when we are mistreated just because we are christians or just because we identify with god we must not be surprised that's the principle of what jesus is saying that we have to take up our cross and follow him we all we will experience difficulty and if we are afraid to experience difficulty if we're afraid to to lose our life even our very lives for him and for the gospel then we will lose our life anyway and at that point it will be in vain do you understand because think about it if you choose to reject jesus and choose 
not to follow him because you don't want to experience difficulties you don't want to experience pain you don't want anybody to dislike you you don't want anybody to look at you at as the ugly duckling you know or the mischievous person or whatever the title they want to to give to christians if you don't want to be placed in that category or those categories and you choose not to follow after jesus then you are still going to suffer one ultimately you are still going to lose your life and then it will all be in vain that's the first thing no the second thing is that if you choose to follow jesus if you choose to accept his message and accept the gospel and stand for the gospel and the principle of the gospel and righteousness then the possibility exists that you'll also lose your life you're going to suffer you're going to experience hardship you will be hated and as i said before ultimately you may lose your life but it will not be in vain because what choosing jesus you are choosing life so yes you may die a physical death but we all know that jesus is the giver of life and when he comes again he promised that he will what call his faithful children home and he explained that look here if you deny me now or if you are ashamed to be identified with me now if you don't want nobody to call you a christian if you don't want to be seen as a christian if you don't want to dress like a christian because you just want to stay anonymous so you just want to live your life in secret you want to live a secretive christian lifestyle one that it gives no testimony that you are really a child of god you just want to look like everybody else and blend in with everybody else you're ashamed to be identified with god then guess what god says that when he come he will also refuse to be identified with you and with me he also will be ashamed of us right and so we will still face the very thing that we are trying to avoid ultimately and that is what eternal damnation so don't allow yourself to become caught up in the deception that if you refuse god you are making a good choice because we are not we are not and the truth is that what is it that you are willing to sacrifice for your life hmm what is it that you are willing to give up what is it that i am willing to give up are we willing to to choose the world and reject jesus or are we willing to choose jesus and reject the world there's a scripture that says that we must seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness no i want us to think about what our choices are and whether or not we are prepared to stand with god whether or not we really want to be identified with him and if it is a case where we are still not sure may we ask him to help us where we are weak help us to make the correct choice and then choose jesus because he is the one to choose may god help us and may god help us to see that his everlasting love towards us is not pretentious and he really wants to save us so may we accept his grace and may we choose to take up the cross our cross and follow him even if we have to follow him alone may god continue to bless us and keep us in jesus name